सब्सक्राइब करें हमारा YouTube चैनल बेल आइकन को क्लिक करना ना भूलें जिससे आगे आने वाले सभी YouTube अपडेट्स वीडियोस नोटिफिकेशंस आपको मिलते रहें हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू परिस्कार कॉलेज ऑफ ग्लोबल एक्सीलेंस ऑटोनोमस आई एम नितिन शर्मा एंड टुडे विल बी डिस्कस 12 सीबीएसई मॉडल पेपर सेकंड ऑफ सब्जेक्ट मैथमेटिक्स स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो जनरल इंस्ट्रक्शंस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस क्वेश्चन पेपर कंटेन फाइव सेक्शन ए बी सी डी एंड ई एंड ईच सेक्शन इज कंपलसरी सेकंड पॉइंट सेक्शन ए हैज 18 एमसीक्यू एंड टू एसरेशन रीजन बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस ऑफ वन मार्क ईच सेक्शन बी हैज फाइव वेरी शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चंस ऑफ टू मार्क्स ईच सेक्शन सी हैज सिक्स शॉर्ट आंसर टाइप क्वेश्चंस ऑफ थ्री मार्क्स ईच Section D has four long answer type questions of five marks each. Section E has three source based, case study based, integrated units of assessment of four marks each with the sub parts. Okay, friends. Now we will be we'll discuss about the marking system of the questions paper. Friends, section A has pattern is MCQ plus assertion region based questions and number of question is eighteen plus two equal to twenty. Total marks is twenty into one is equal to twenty. It means one marks of the each question. Question number from one to twenty. It means friends, starting twenty questions is your type of MCQ types questions. Section B very short answer type questions and number of questions is five. And marks is five multi five by two is equal to ten. It means two marks of the each questions. Question number from twenty one to twenty five. Section C pattern is short answer type questions and number of questions is six. Marks is six by three is equal to eighteen. It means three marks of the each questions. And question number from twenty six to thirty one and second last section D pattern is long answer type questions and number of questions is say four. And marks is four by five is equal to twenty. It means five marks of the each questions. And question number from 32 to 35, and final is section E. Pattern is case study based questions, and number of questions is three, and you get marks four marks of the each question, and total is three by four is equal to 12, and question number from 36 to 38. So you get total in the questions paper total 38 questions. Total number of questions is 38. And the marks is eighty. Okay. Now we will start about the your today sessions of the MCQ type questions. First question is here. First question: If F mapping R to R, F x is equal to two of x minus three, and G mapping R to R, G of x is equal to x cube plus five, then value of fog inverse of x is. Friends, we find out the uh, about the values of fog inverse of x. Here we will discuss about the two method, two types of methods. Method one is method one is first of all you given that f x is equal to two x minus three and g x is equal to x cube plus five by equation number one and equation number two. We solve these equations and find the value of f inverse of x and g inverse of x. Because when we open this formula, we get g inverse of f inverse of x, and by the functions of composite functions, by the property of composite function, we get f inverse x. So we We want to find out the values of f inverse x and g inverse x by equation number one and two. So from equation number one, f inverse x is equal to x minus three upon two, and g inverse x is equal to x minus five to power one upon three. Okay. Then now put the values of the equations. G inverse. X minus three upon two, and we get g inverse of x is equal to x minus five to the power one upon three. We put this value is instead of x, x minus three upon two, minus five to the power one upon three, 
एंड हेयर एक्स प्लस थ्री अपॉन टू आएगा एंड वी गेट एक्स माइनस सेवन अपॉन टू की पावर वन अपॉन थ्री सो योर राइट आंसर इज डी ऑप्शन नाउ वी विल बी डिस्कस अबाउट द मेथड सेकेंड मेथड सेकेंड Given f x is equal to two x minus three and g x is equal to x cube plus five, now fog of x is equal to f of g of x is equal to two of x cube plus five minus three. Friends, f of g x value is means f g of x given that x cube plus five and now for function of x, x is replaced by x cube plus five. So we put two of x cube plus 5 minus 3 and we get answer is 2 x cube plus 10 minus 3 is equal to 2 of x to the power 3 plus 7 and let fog of x is equal to y then assume uh, fog of x is equal to y then we get y equal to 2 of x 3 plus 7 is equal to that imply x is equal to y of minus 7 by 2 to the power 1 upon 3 Okay, so fog inverse of x is equal to x minus seven by two to the power one upon three, and your answer is D option. Option D is correct answer. Okay, friends, I hope you are understand. Now we will discuss about the question number second. If a matrix A is equal to A i j two by four, then number of elements in matrix A. Here, friends, we given that A is equal to A i j two by four. It means Number of row equal to two, and number of column equal to four, and we get we know that total number of elements in a matrix is, is equal to m by n. So two into four is equal to eight. Your uh, B option is the right answer. Okay, friends. Now we will be discuss about the question number third. The functions f x is equal to mod of x is Option A continuous for all x. Option B discontinuous at x is equal to zero only. Option C continuous at x is equal to zero only. Discontinuous at for all x. Friends, by the property of continuity, we shall prove that we shall prove that the function f x for any function for to prove a continuity, we prove that right hand limit and is equal to left hand limit equal to at function value at that point. Okay, now first of all we figure out this questions. F x is equal to mod x, and we know that mod x graph is f x is equal to mod x. And when we open this formula, we get f x is equal to x for x is greater than equal to zero. It means when uh, x is greater than zero, one, two, three, four, five, then we get x, and when we X is less than zero, then we get minus of x. So your answer is for continuity. Let the check the continuity. Let f x is equal to mod x. To check the continuity of f x at x is equal to a, limit x tends to zero. f x is equal to limit x tends to zero plus x is equal to zero, and limit x tends to zero minus is equal to zero. f x is equal to limit x tends to zero minus of x is equal to zero. And equal to f of zero. It means your answer is right. Now, right hand limit is equal to left hand limit is equal to function's value at that point x is equal to zero. So we get your answer is option number A. It's correct answer. Continuous for all x. Okay. Next we we will discuss about the question number four. Solution of integration one upon square root of dx is equal to Option number A: two upon root x plus c. Option number B: root x upon two plus c. Option C: root x plus c. And option D: two root of x plus c. Friends, we know that x to the power n dx is equal to x to the power n plus one upon n plus one c. Now we will put the values. Find out the values of n here. Given that one upon x to the power one upon two dx, because we replace this sign by one by two, and we get x to the power minus one upon two dot dx, and n is equal to here, n is equal to minus one upon two. We put this value in equations and minus ka one upon two plus one upon 
minus 1 upon 2 plus c is equal to when we solve these equations and we get 2 root of x plus c. So, d your option number d is correct answer. Now, question number 5 solution of sin integration sin square x upon 1 plus cos x dx is equal to friends we know that sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 from this identity of trigonometric we get sin square values and sin square is equal to 1 minus cos square x now we put the values in the formula sin square x upon 1 plus cos x dx is equal to sin squares ki value upon yaha se put kar sakte hain to hume milega 1 minus cos square x upon 1 plus cos x dx now we also know that a square minus b square is equal to a minus b and a plus b so we get we use this property here and we get 1 minus cos x and 1 plus cos x upon 1 plus cos x dx. We see that here numerator and denominator is same things and we cancel out these same things and we reminder that 1 minus cos x dx and we know that about the integration of these questions is x minus sin x plus c. So, your option number A is the correct option. Now, question number 6, the area bounded by the curve y is equal to square root of x and y is equal to x is. Friends, these questions come from application of integration and we solve this question very soon. Solution. The given equation is y is equal to root of x and y is equal to x. It is said that any curve and it is any line. First of all, we solve this type of equations. We find out the intersection point of those equations and the curve. Solving equation number 1 and equation number 2, we get y square is equal to x is equal to y. Then we get or y square is equal to y from equation number 1 given that y square is equal to x and equation number 2 y is equal to x. We put the values of x both y1 and 2. We get y square is equal to y and y square minus y is equal to 0 and y of y minus 1 equal to 0 y is equal to 0 or 1. Here we get two points of y, 0 and 1 and we put any equations of 1 and 2, we get x is equal to 0 or 1 also. So, here two points 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 is the intersection point of the these curve and equations. So, y is equal to 0 or y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. On solving these two equations, we get the points of intersection. The points are 0, 0, 0 and A, 1, 1. These are so in the graph below. Here is the graph. This point is O, 0, 0. And this point of A, 1, 1. And the required a bounded area is, it is yellow color. Now the bounded area is the required area to be calculated and this equation of the formula of the uh, equation area find out the area a is equal to 0 to 1 root of x dx minus 0 to 1 x dx is equal to 1 by 6. Friends, now we will calculate the whole solution of the equations 0 to 1 root x dx minus 0 to 1 x dot dx. We also write this equation by this types root of x minus x dx and 
when we will be integration of these questions, we get x to the power 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 1 upon 2 plus 1 minus x to the power 2 upon 2, 0 to 1 plus c is equal to x to the power 3 upon 2 upon 3 upon 2 minus x square upon 2. Now, here we remove the constant c because this is definite integration and we can't use definite integrations constant c. Now, we solve these questions by the value of the put the value of the limits 2 by 3 upper limit minus lower limit minus and we get 2 by 3 minus 1 by 2 equal to 1 upon 6. Okay friends, I hope you are understand. Now we will be discuss about the question number 7. The angle between A vector multiply B vector and B vector multiply A vector is. Friends, we know that A vector multiply B vector and B vector multiply A vector are parallel and opposite to each other. So, the angle will be 180 degree. So, your right answer is option number D. Next question number 8. Let the vectors A vector and B vector be such that magnitude of A vector is equal to 3 and magnitude of B vector is equal to square root of 2 by 3. Then A vector by B vector is a unit vector if the angle. Okay. Friends, we know that a vector multiply B vector is equal to magnitude of A magnitude of B sin theta n cap. Now modulus of A is equal to 3 and modulus of B is equal to square root of 3 and we know that A vector multiply B vector is equal to modulus of A vector and modulus of B vector sin theta n cap. Here n cap is the when given that a vector by b vector is a unit vector, so magnitude of a vector multiply b vector is equal to 1, it is given that. Now, a vector by b vector is equal to modulus of a vector, modulus of b vector sin theta n cap, theta is the angle between vectors a and b and n cap is the unit vectors, n cap is the unit vectors perpendicular to a vector and b vector so n modulus of n cap is equal to 1 and your question is become a vector by b vector is equal to modulus of a vector modulus of v vector sin theta multiply by 1 then we put this value of a vector and b vector and modulus of a vector b vector we get 1 is equal to 3 into the square root of 2 upon 3 sin theta and we saw that 3 by cancel 3 by cancel sin theta is equal to 1 upon root 2 ok then theta is equal to we get pi by 4 1 is equal to square root of 2 sin theta sin theta is equal to 1 upon 2 and theta is equal to sin inverse 1 upon square root of 2 and we get theta is equal to pi by 4 therefore the angle between the vectors a vector and b vector is pi by 4 ok friends Next question, question number 9, which of the following group is not the directions cosine of a line? Friend, directions cosines, we know that relation about the directions cosines of any line L square plus M square plus N square is equal to 1. Now, we will be the options one by one. First option is 1, 1, 1 and we put these values in this 1, 1, 1 that implies 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 3, not equal to 1. Option number B, 0, 0, minus 1, there implies 0 square plus 0 square plus minus 1 square is equal to 1. Option C, minus 1, 0, 0, minus 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square is equal to 1. And option number D, 0, minus 1, 0 is equal to 0 square plus minus 1 square plus 0 square is equal to 1. So, 
only option number A is not satisfied about relation. So we get your correct answer is the option number A because we want to find out that not the directions cosines. So option number A is correct answer. Next question number 10. If A and B are independent events where probability of A is equal to 0 0.3 and probability of B is equal to 0 0.6, then value of probability of A intersection B. Friends, we know that when two events are independent events, then we say that probability of A intersection B is equal to P of A and P of B. So here the put the values of P of A is equal to 0 0.3 multiply by 0 0.6 is equal to 0 0.18. So your correct answer is option number D is the correct answer. Now we will be discuss about the question number 11. If X is the poison variate such that 3 P X is equal to 2 is equal to 2 P of X is equal to 1 then the mean of the distribution is equal to. Friends, we know that poison variate for distribution function, distribution function of poison variate P of x is equal to lambda is equal to e to the power minus of lambda, lambda to the power x upon x factorial. So we get about the solution of this question. 3p x is equal to 2 is equal to 2p of x is equal to 1 and we get 3m square e to the power minus m upon 2 factorial is equal to 2m e to the power minus m upon 1 factorial. Friends e to the power minus e to the power minus m is cancel out and we get m square value is equal to m cancel out then m is equal to 4 by 3 so mean of the correct poison variate is equal to 4 by 3. So option number A is the your correct answer. Next question number 12. Magnitude of A vector is find out. A vector is equal to IK plus JK plus KK. Friends we know that when A vector A vector is equal to A1 IK plus A2 JK plus A3 KK. Then magnitude of A vector is equal to A1 square plus A2 square plus A3 square is equal to 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square because here a1 is equal to 1 a2 is equal to 1 and a3 is equal to 1 this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 1 dot 1 dot 1 dot so your correct answer is square root of 3 option number a is the correct answer friends now question number 13 f dash x is equal to x square plus sin x then find the value of fx. We know that integration is the reciprocal of the differentiation. So we solve this question by property f dash x is equal to x square plus sin x. When we will be remove the differentiation sign from this side we get integration sign above opposite side then fx is equal to x square plus sin x dot dx and when we solve these questions x cube by 3 x cube by 3 minus of cos x plus c so we get correct answer is option number d next question number 14 find the intervals in which the function f given by fx is equal to x square minus 4x plus c plus 6 is strictly increasing function friends here we will be found out the strictly increasing functions ke liye interval find out karna hai aapko. Uske liye kya karna hoga? First of all we property that for strictly increasing function is f dash x is greater than 0. Here function fx is x square minus 4x plus 6 and f dash x is equal to 2x minus 4. When we will be able to find out the values of 2x minus 4, 2x minus 4 is greater than 0 because we know that f dash x is greater than 0 for strictly increasing function. 2x is greater than 4 and x is greater than 
टू जब हम इसको नंबर लाइन के ऊपर सोल्व करेंगे हमारे पास मिलेगा x इज ग्रेटर देन टू इट इज जीरो वन टू डेट सोल्व डेट मीन्स x की वैल्यू होगी वो हमारे पास में टू से बड़ी होगी हमेशा बट टू इसके अंदर इंक्लूड नहीं होगा सो हम इंटरवल इज टू कोमा इंफिनिटी इन ओपन इंटरवल सो ऑप्शन नंबर इज द करेक्ट आंसर टू इंफिनिटी ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टीन ए रिलेशन आर इन सेट ए इज इक्वल टू वन कोमा टू कोमा थ्री इज डिफाइंड एज आर इज इक्वल टू वन कोमा वन वन कोमा टू टू कोमा टू एंड थ्री कोमा थ्री विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्डर पेयर इन आर सेल बी रिमूव टू मेक इट एन इक्वलेंस रिलेशन इन ए फ्रेंड्स आपको यहाँ पे पता करना है कि इस रिलेशन आर के अंदर से हमें कौन सा एलिमेंट को रिमूव करना पे ये फंक्शन हमारे पास में क्या बन जाएगा इक्वलेंस रिलेशन बन जाएगा आपके पास में तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आप जानते हैं जैसा कि एज यू नो इक्वलेंस रिलेशन मीन्स रिफ्लेक्सिव सिमेट्रिक एंड ट्रांजिटिव इक्वलेंस रिलेशन तीनों रिलेशन से मिलकर बनता है रिफ्लेक्सिव सिमेट्रिक एंड ट्रांजिटिव हेयर आर इज इक्वल टू वन बाई वन कोमा वन वन कोमा टू टू कोमा टू एंड थ्री कोमा थ्री सो वी वेन वी विल बी रिमूव दन कोमा टू वी गेट द इक्वलेंस रिलेशन आर इज इक्वल टू वन कोमा वन टू कोमा टू एंड थ्री कोमा थ्री एंड वन कोमा वन टू कोमा टू थ्री कोमा थ्री सेटिस्फाइड द ऑल द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ रिफ्लेक्सिव सिमेट्रिक एंड ट्रांजिटिव रिलेशन सो हेयर द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री वन कोमा टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन द वैल्यू ऑफ माइनस ए टू डी पावर ए एक्स टू डी पावर फाइव प्लस वन डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू फ्रेंड्स दिस इज क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम डेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन एंड वी नो डेट माइनस ए टू लिमिट फ्रॉम माइनस ए टू ए एक्स टू डी पावर फाइव प्लस वन डी एक्स वेन वी वी सेपरेट दिस फंक्शन माइनस ए टू ए एक्स टू डी पावर फाइव डी एक्स प्लस माइनस ए टू ए वन डो डी एक्स फ्रेंड्स हेयर एक्स टू डी पावर फाइव इज द ओड फंक्शन कंडीशन क्या होती है और फंक्शन के लिए और फंक्शन होता है एफ माइनस एक्स इजिकल टू माइनस ऑफ एफ एक्स हेयर एफ एक्स इजिकल टू एक्स टू डी पावर फाइव देन एफ ऑफ माइनस एक्स इजिकल टू माइनस ऑफ एक्स टू डी पावर फाइव इजिकल टू माइनस ऑफ एक्स टू डी पावर फाइव इट मीन्स माइनस ऑफ एफ एक्स सो इट इज ओड फंक्शन एंड वी नोट डेट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द डेफिनेट इंटीग्रेशन माइनस ए टू एफ एक्स डी एक्स इजिकल टू जीरो वेन एफ एक्स इजिकल टू ओड फंक्शन so we will be get zero and here one it is means constant function and constant function is even function so we solve this 2 0 to a 1 dot dx is equal to 2 of a minus 0 equal to 2 of a so your correct answer is option number second 2a question number 17 the general solution of the differential equation of dy by dx is equal to e to the power x minus y. Differential equations questions is here. dy by dx, dy by dx is equal to e to the power x minus y. Here we will be solve these questions by method of separation of variable. Separation of variable. dy by dx e to the power x minus e to the power y यहाँ पे हम e की power x minus y को लिख सकते हैं e की power x dot e की power minus y when we solve these equations e to the power y dy is equal to e to the power x dx and both side integration we solve this question and we get option number C is the correct answer. E to the power x minus e to the power y is equal to C. Okay, friends. Last question number eighteen. If f be the greatest integer function, 
defined as fx is equal to greatest integer function of x and g be the modulus function defined as gx is equal to modulus of x then the value of go of 9 by 4 is it is composite function go of composite function then when we solve these questions first of all given fx is equal to modulus of fx is equal to greatest integer function of x and gx is equal to modulus of x as we know that composite function go of 9 by 4 is equal to g of f 9 by 4 and we solve this now f is 9 by 4 is equal to 9 by 4 because fx is equal to given that fx is equal to x and f 9 by 4 is equal to 9 by 4 and we solve this question and we know that about the property of greatest integer function it is 1.2 is equal to 1 2.9 is equal to 2 so here 2.25 is equal to 2 and go of 9 by 4 is equal to g of f 9 by 4 and g of 2 is equal to modulus 2 is equal to 2 so your correct answer is option number c SRSN region based questions question number 19 and 20 is type of SRSN and region based questions in the following questions a statement of SRSN is follow by a statement of region R choose the correct answer out of the following choice option number a both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a option number b both a and r are true and r is not the correct explanation of a a is the true but r is false and a is false but r is true so question number 19 srsn a is equal to the maximum profit that a company max if profit function is given by fx px is equal to 41 plus 24x minus 8x square hame a given a profit function px is equal to 41 plus 24x minus 8x square when x is the number of units and p is the profit is rupees 59 reason kya given aapko yaha pe the profit is maximum 8x is equal to 0 the profit is maximum at x is equal to a if p dash a is equal to 0 and p double dash a is greater than 0. So, when we will solve this question, we get SRSN px is equal to 41 plus 24x minus 8x square. It means profit function and p dash x 24 minus 15x. p dash x is equal to 0 that implies 24 minus 16 x is equal to 0 and we get the values of x x is equal to 3 by 2 p double dash x double derivative of profit function is equal to minus ka 16 here p dash x is equal to 24 minus 16 x and when we solve for double derivative of the profit function px we get minus of 16 and minus of 16 is less than 0 that implies x is equal to 3 by 2 is a point of maxima and maximum profit is 41 plus 24 multiplied 3 by 2 minus 8 multiplied 9 by 4 and we get 59 so SRSN is a correct but kya reason is correct explanation check SRSN is true but reason is false for maximum profit at x is equal to a p dash a is equal to 0 and p double dash a less than 0 so option number c is the correct answer next question number 20 srsn the probability of getting six heads when a unbiased coin is tossed 10 times is c of 10 6 1 by 2 to the power 10 reason kya given is ka in a binomial distribution in a binomial distribution the probability is given by p of x is equal to r is equal to c of n r p of r q to the power n minus r option number a both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of a 
ऑप्शन नंबर बी बोथ ए एंड आर आर ट्रू एंड आर इज नॉट द करेक्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ ए ऑप्शन नंबर सी ए इज ट्रू बट आर इज फॉल्स ऑप्शन नंबर डी ए इज फॉल्स बट आर इज ट्रू सो हेयर ऑप्शन नंबर ए इज करेक्ट आंसर एंड किस प्रकार से करेक्ट हुआ चेक करते हैं अपन सोल्यूशन एसर संख्या गिवन आपको प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ गेटिंग हेड पी ऑफ इजिकल टू वन वी नो डेट वेन ए टॉस ए कॉइन वी गेट प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ हेड इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ टेल इक्वल टू वन बाई टू एंड वी नो डेट पी प्लस क्यू इज इक्वल टू वन इट मीन्स प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फेलियर एंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सक्सेस इज इक्वल टू वन सो P is equal to one by two, so we find out the value of Q. It is one by two. Now by binomial distribution with n is equal to ten, P is equal to one by two and Q is equal to one by two. Here reason is given that P of x is equal to r, C of n r, P of r, Q to the power n minus r. Friends, ये हमारे पास में binomial distribution के लिए distribution function है, इसको हम इस प्रकार से लिख सकते हैं n c r P of R Q to the power n minus R. P of x is equal to six is equal to ten C six because n value is given that ten. P is value is given one by two and Q is value given by one by two and R is equal to six. So when we will solve these questions, we get ten C six one to the power ten. Both A and R are true and R is the correct explanation of A. So option number A is the right answer. Okay, friends. Here, first of all, we complete the section A. Now we will be continue the section number B. Question number twenty-one. Express ten inverse cos x upon one minus sin x is equal to simplest form. Friends, हमें given है ten inverse cos x upon one minus sin x. हमें इसको इसकी simplest form में solve करना है. जबकि आपको इंटरवल क्या गिवन है एक्स की वैल्यू माइनस थ्री पाई बाई टू टू पाई बाई टू वी नोट डेट टेन इनवर्स टेन इनवर्स कोस एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस साइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन इनवर्स साइन ऑफ पाई बाई टू माइनस एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस कोस पाई बाई टू माइनस एक्स बिकॉज वी नोट डेट साइन नाइनटी डिग्री माइनस थीटा इज इक्वल टू कोस थीटा एंड कोस 90 डिग्री माइनस थीटा इज इक्वल टू साइन थीटा वी यूज दिस प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ टेक्नोमेटिक फंक्शन हेयर साइन पाई बाय टू माइनस एक्स अपॉन वन माइनस कोस पाई बाय टू माइनस एक्स नेक्स्ट वी नो डेट सी हेयर फ्रेंड्स साइन टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू साइन एक्स कोस एक्स एंड साइन एक्स इज इक्वल टू When x is replaced by x by two, two sine x by two, cos x by two, and cos two x is equal to one minus two sine square x. X is replaced by x by two. Cos x is equal to one minus two sine square x by two. And two sine square x by two is equal to one minus cos x. We use this property in this question, and we get ten inverse two sine pi by four minus x by two cos pi by four minus x by two upon two sine square pi by four minus x by two is equal to ten inverse cot pi by four minus x by two because when we solve these questions, one sine cancel out from one sine. 2 is cancelled from 2 and we get cos pi by 4 minus x by 2 upon sin pi by 4 minus x by 2 and we know that cot x is equal to cos x upon sin x tan inverse cot pi by 4 minus x by 2 and tan inverse tan pi by 2 minus pi by 4 minus x by 2 because we know that cot 90 degree minus theta is equal to tan theta or Tan 90 minus theta is equal to cot theta. Here theta is given that pi by 4 minus x by 2, and tan 90 it means pi by 2. Then tan pi by 2 minus theta, i.e. the pi by 4 minus x by 
is equal to cot theta. So your answer is 10 inverse 10 pi by 4 plus x by 2 pi by 4 plus x by 2. Next question number 22. If a vector is equal to i k minus j k plus 7 k k and b vector is equal to 5 i k minus j k plus lambda k k then find the value of lambda. So that the vectors a vector plus b vector and a vector minus b vector are orthogonal. Friends, we know that the condition of the orthogonality a vector plus b vector multiply by a vector minus b vector is equal to 0. So first of all, here we found out that सबसे पहले हम सोल्व करेंगे a plus b and a minus b की वैल्यू के लिए a plus b and a minus v will be orthogonal if a vector plus b vector and a vector minus b vector multiply is equal to 0. Now a vector plus b vector is equal to 6 i k minus 2 j k plus 7 lambda k k. Here see that a vector is equal to i k minus j k plus 7 k k and b vector is equal to 5 i k minus j k plus lambda k k. When we add these vectors, we get a vector plus b vector is equal to i k minus j k plus 7 k k plus 5 i k minus j k plus lambda k k is equal to 1 plus 5 it means 6 i k minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 j k plus 7 plus lambda k k okay now next a vector minus b vector is equal to a vector minus b vector is equal to i k minus j k plus 7 k k minus 5 i k minus j k plus lambda of k k is equal to 1 minus 5 it means minus 4 minus 4 i k minus 1 minus minus plus cancel out so it is 0 j k plus 0 j k plus 7 minus lambda k k okay friends so here find out the value a vector minus b vector is equal to 4 minus of 4 i k plus 7 minus lambda k k. So a vector plus b vector multiply a vector minus b vector is equal to 0 and we get the value minus 24 plus 49 minus lambda square is equal to 0 and lambda square is equal to 25 and lambda is equal to plus minus 5. So lambda ki value humai pas mein kitni hai? Plus minus 5 is the correct answer. Next question number 23, find the equation of the normal to the curve y is equal to x plus 1 by x, y is equal to x plus 1 by x, where x is greater than 0, it is perpendicular to the line 3x minus 4y is equal to 7. Okay friends, this is solution that happen. Finding slope y is equal to of x plus 1 upon x. First of all, we find out the slope of the curve y is equal to x plus 1 by x. And we see that dy upon dx slope. Slope dy upon dx is equal to 1 minus 1 by x square. Differentiating both sides of these equations. We solve this x plus 1 by x. That implies 1 minus 1 upon x square. It is the slope of curve x plus 1 by x. Now slope of the normal is minus curve 1 by 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon x square. Formula of the slope of the normal is minus 1 by dy by dx. Slope of normal is minus ka 1 by dy by dx. Now dy by dx is equal to 1 minus 1 upon x square and minus ka 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon x square is the slope of normal. Now slope of the normal is equal to minus 1 upon 1 minus x square. Given that normal is perpendicular to line 3x minus 4y is equal to 7, 
स्लोप ऑफ द लाइन डी वाई पॉइंट डी एक्स इजिकल टू थ्री बाई फोर थ्री एक्स माइनस फोर वाई इजिकल टू सेवन वेन वी डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस लाइन थ्री माइनस फोर डी वाई पॉइंट डी एक्स इजिकल टू जीरो वेन वी डेट डी वाई पॉइंट डी एक्स इजिकल टू थ्री अपॉन फोर ओके नेक्स्ट स्लोप ऑफ नॉर्मल मल्टीप्लाई स्लोप ऑफ लाइन इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन वी नोट डेट बोथ आर परपेंटिकुलर सो एम वन एम टू इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन माइनस वन अपॉन वन माइनस वन अपॉन एक्स स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाई बाई थ्री बाई फोर इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन and when we solve this equation for x we get x is equal to 2 and x is greater than 0 when x is get x is equal to 2 y is equal to 2 plus 1 by 2 it means 1 5 by 2 and now slope of the normal is minus 4 by 3 slope of the normal is minus 4 by 3 and it is passes through the point 2 comma 5 comma -2 equation of normal y minus y1 is equal to m of x minus x1 And when we put the value of y1 and x1, y minus 5 by 2 is equal to minus 4 upon 3. Value of m and x minus 2 and 8x plus 6y is equal to 31. It is the your correct answer. 8x plus 6y is equal to 31. Next question number 24. If a particle move along the curve x square is equal to 2y, at what point ordinate increase at the same rate as एबेसिस का इंक्रीजेज फ्रेंड्स वी नो डेट ऑर्डिनेट एंड एबेसिस का वाई एक्सिस इज कॉल्ड ऑर्डिनेट एंड एक्स एक्सिस इज कॉल्ड एबेसिस का वी नो डेट एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू वाई इक्वेशन नंबर वन डिफ्रेंसिएटिंग विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टी बोथ साइड वी गेट टू एक्स डी एक्स अपॉन डी टी इज इक्वल टू टू डी वाई अपॉन डी टी इट इज गिवन डेट ऑर्डिनेट एंड एबेसिस का हैज सेम रेट ऑफ इंक्रीज So dx upon dt is equal to dy upon dt. Here we will be find out this value in this. हमें गिवन है कि it is given that ordinate and abscess का has same rate of increase. Increase at the same rate of abscess का increases. So 2 of x dx upon dt is equal to 2 of dy upon dt is replaced by 2 of dx upon dt. So 2x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 1. We solve this question and put this value of x in equation number one. We get y is equal to 1 upon 2. So point is 1 comma 1 upon 2. Okay, friends. I hope you are understand. Question number next. We will talk about question number 25. Find the acute angle between the lines x minus 4 by 3 is equal to y plus 3 upon 4 is equal to z plus 1 upon 5. And x minus one upon four is equal to y plus one upon minus three is equal to z plus ten upon five. Solution, friends, vector in the direction of first line a vector is equal to three i k plus four j k plus five k k, and vector in the direction of the second line b vector is equal to four i k minus three j k plus five k k. Angle between two lines is given by cos theta a vector multiply b vector upon modulus of a vector multiply modulus of b vector. See there, see here, cos theta is equal to a vector multiply b vector upon modulus of a vector multiply modulus of b vector. Here, cos theta is equal to three i plus four j plus five k dot four i plus minus three j plus five k. Upon modulus of 3i plus 4j plus 5k, modulus of 4i minus 3j plus 5k, and we get cos theta is equal to 3 and 4 multiplied by 12. 3 and 4 multiplied by each other, and we get 12 minus 12 plus 25 upon modulus of these values. Square root of 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 square, and square root of 4 square. Plus minus three square plus five square. When we solve this question, nine plus sixteen plus twenty five and nine plus sixteen plus twenty five, we see that cos theta is equal to twenty five upon square root of fifty multiplied square root of fifty, 
it is 50 upon 25 upon 50 and we get 25 upon 50 is equal to 1 by 2 and theta is equal to pi by 3. So, theta is equal to pi by 3 is your correct answer. Okay friends, here we start section number C of question number 26. Find the area of the parallelogram whose one side and a diagonal are represented by co-initial vectors i vector minus j vector plus k cap and 4 i cap plus 5 k cap respectively. Friends, first of all we know that the diagram of parallelogram a, B, C, D is the parallelogram of A, B, C, D and here it is the diagonal of D vector. Let A, B, C, D be the parallelogram where A vector is equal to I cap minus J cap plus K cap and diagonal D vector is equal to 4 I cap plus 5 K cap. It is given that. Now A vector plus B vector is equal to D vector. From the property of vector addition, we know that a vector plus b vector is equal to d vector and v vector is equal to d vector minus a vector is equal to 3 i k plus j k plus 4 k k. Friends, see that d vector minus of a vector is equal to 4 i k plus 5 k k minus i k minus j k plus k k. We solve this 0 i cap it means 3 i cap minus of j cap plus 4 k cap minus minus is plus so here we the sign is plus so 3 i plus j cap plus 4 k cap area of parallelogram a b c d is given by a vector multiply b vector and a vector multiply b vector is equal to i cap minus j cap plus k cap 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 3 1 4 from a vector is equal to i cap minus j cap plus k cap and b vector is equal to 3 i cap plus j cap plus 4 k cap we solve this question then we get i cap minus j cap plus k cap 1 minus 1 minus 1 3 1 4 we get this minus of 5 i cap plus minus 5 i minus j plus 4 k cap area of parallelogram is equal to modulus of a vector multiply b vector so we solve these questions 25 plus 1 plus 16 is equal to square root of 42 square of units because yaha pe hame area pucha gaya hai isliye hum yaha pe units bhi apply karenge next question number 27 evaluate integration pi by 6 to pi by 3 dx upon 1 plus square root of 10x. Friends, we know that 10x is equal to sin x upon cos x by trigonometric functions. So, here limit from pi by 6 to pi by 3 dx upon 1 plus square root of 10x is equal to pi by 6 to pi by 3. When we solve these questions, 1 upon 1 plus square root of sin x upon cos x and root of cos x upon root of cos x plus root of sin x equation number 1 a to b we know that a to b fx dx is equal to a to b f of a plus b minus x dx it means lower limit plus upper limit minus of x dx use this property and we get pi by 6 to pi by 3 because here a is equal to pi by 6 and b is equal to pi by 3 root of cos pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x upon root of sin pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x plus cos pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x. We get pi by 6 to pi by 3 root of sin x upon root of sin x plus root of cos x dx is equal to equation number second. Ye kaisa hai? Mein sol karke batata hoon. Isko aapko friends here cos pi by 6 plus pi by 3 minus x is equal to cos 6 pi plus 2 pi minus x it means cos 3 pi upon 6 minus x 2 it means cos pi by 2 minus x is equal to sin x 
ओके इसी प्रकार से इसको सोल्व करने पे आपको क्या मिलेगा साइन फाइव बाई सिक्स प्लस फाइव बाई थ्री माइनस एक्स साइन सिक्स फाइव प्लस टू पाई माइनस एक्स साइन थ्री पाई अपॉन सिक्स माइनस एक्स एंड साइन फाइव बाई टू माइनस एक्स एंड बाई द टेक्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शन प्रॉपर्टी वी नो डेट साइन फाइव बाई टू माइनस टीटा इज इक्वल टू कोस टीटा यानी कि कोस एक्स ओके तो पाई बाय सिक्स टू पाई बाय थ्री इज इक्वल टू रूट रूट ऑफ साइन एक्स अपॉन रूट साइन एक्स प्लस रूट कोस एक्स डी एक्स इट इज इक्वेशन नंबर सेकेंड एडिंग इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड टू वी गेट टू आई इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय सिक्स टू पाई बाय थ्री रूट ऑफ कोस एक्स अपॉन रूट ऑफ साइन एक्स प्लस कोस एक्स डी एक्स प्लस पाई बाय सिक्स टू पाई बाय थ्री रूट ऑफ साइन एक्स अपॉन रूट ऑफ साइन एक्स प्लस कोस एक्स डी एक्स टू आई इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय सिक्स टू पाई बाय थ्री रूट ऑफ कोस एक्स प्लस रूट ऑफ साइन एक्स अपॉन रूट ऑफ साइन एक्स प्लस कोस एक्स सेम थिंग इन न्यूमरेटर एंड डी न्यूमरेटर सो वी कैंसिल आउट दिस एंड वी गेट ओनली वन हेयर डॉट डी एक्स टू वाई इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय सिक्स टू पाई बाय थ्री डी एक्स एंड वेन वी सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन एक्स फाइव बाय सिक्स टू पाई बाय थ्री अपर लिमिट माइनस लोअर लिमिट फाइव बाय थ्री माइनस फाइव बाय सिक्स एंड वी गेट फाइव बाय सिक्स फाइव बाय सिक्स टू आई इज इक्वल टू पाई बाय सिक्स एंड आई इज इक्वल टू वी गेट फाइव बाय ट्वेल्व सो हेयर फाइव बाय ट्वेल्व इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी एट If x is equal to a sec theta, y is equal to b tan theta, then find the value of d square y upon dx square at x is equal to pi by six. Friends, first of all, we find out that dy by dx. So first we solve this dx upon d theta. Differentiation with of x with respect to theta. dx upon d theta is equal to a. sec theta tan theta and dy upon d theta is equal to b sec square theta then value of dy by dx is equal to dy by d theta upon dx upon d theta is equal to b of sec square theta upon a of sec theta tan theta it means when we solve this questions we get dy by dx is equal to b upon a cosec theta okay friends next hum baat karenge iski d square y upon dx square ki so dy by dx ka double differentiation karna hai differentiating both side with respect to x we get d square y by dx square is equal to minus ka b upon a cosec theta cot theta d theta upon dx friends iska differentiation karke dekhte hain apan dy by dx is equal to b upon a cosec theta d square y by dx square is equal to minus b upon a cosec theta cot theta d theta upon dx from the equation number 1 we find out the value of d theta upon dx is 1 upon a sec theta tan theta using number using 2 and we get minus b upon a multiply a cot cube theta d square y upon dx square at point theta is equal to pi by 6 we get minus b upon a square cot pi by 6 to the power 3 and we know that the value of cot pi by 6 is equal to square root of 3 and we get minus 3 upon minus 3 root 3 b upon a square is your correct answer okay friends next question number 29 solve the following linear programming problem graphically maximize z is equal to 400 x plus 300 y Subject to constraints x plus y is less than equal to 200, x is less than equal to 40, and x is greater than equal to 20, and y is greater than equal to zero. Friends, it is a maximum condition, and we know that the optimization problems, linear programming problem, it means optimization problem, it means maximum or uh, minimum profit or minimum cost. Here, z is equal to maximum. 400x plus 300y it is called objective function and x plus y is less than equal to 200 x is less than equal to 40 x is greater than equal to 20 it is your subject to constraints 
सब्जेक्ट टू कंस्टेंट एंड वाई इज ग्रेटर देन जीरो इट मीन्स नॉन नेगेटिविटी नॉन नेगेटिव कंस्टेंट्स हेयर वेन वी सोल्व दिस क्वेश्चन वी गेट Z is equal to 400x plus 300y subject to x plus y less than equal to 200. X is less than equal to 40. Y x is less than equal to greater than equal to 20. And y is greater than equal to zero. By changing given inequalities into equations, we get x plus y is equal to 200. It is called equation number one. X is equal to 40. It is called equation number second. And x is equal to 20. It is called x is equal to Equation number three. By equation number one, we get x plus y is equal to two hundred. When we solve these equations, we get a table x. When x is equal to zero, x plus y is equal to two hundred. When x is equal to zero, we get y is equal to two hundred. And when y is equal to zero, we get x is equal to two hundred. Feasible reason. A B C D determined by the linear inequalities or equations from one to three is so in the figure. Note that the feasible region is bounded. Okay, friends. Next, the corner points of the feasible region are C twenty comma zero, D forty comma zero, B forty comma one sixty, and A twenty comma one eighty. And next is your graph. Point A B C D, and it is your feasible region. Bounded by A, B, C, D, and we get the solution. Corner points and Z is equal to 400x plus 300y. When we put the value, Z is equal to 400x plus 300y. When C is equal to 20 comma 0, it means x ki value 20 hai, or y ki value 0 hogi. So, aapke paas mein Z kya jayega? 400 multiply 20 plus 300 multiply 0, and we get 8000. Plus zero is equal to eight thousand. Corner points D is equal to forty comma zero. Forty comma zero is equal to Z four hundred forty multiply three hundred zero. We get sixteen thousand plus zero. Next question. Corner points is B forty comma one sixty eight. Z is equal to 400, 40 300, 160. We solve this question. 1600, 16000 plus 1600 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 
then x square plus 3 x square is equal to 4 4 x square is equal to 4 and x square is equal to 1 and when we solve this question we get x is equal to plus minus 1 x square is equal to 1 there implies x is equal to 1 now it is the figure it is the equation of circle x square plus y square is equal to 4 and it is the line y is equal to square root of 3x and we get the only first quadrant so your bounded region is this it is your bounded region and we solve this question we get required area is, is equal to square root of 3 0 to 1 x dx plus 1 to 2 square root of 2 square minus x square dx because friends 0 to 1 the area bounded by the lines and from 1 to 2 the area is bounded by the circle so here we will know that x square plus y square is equal to 4 and y square is equal to 4 minus x square y is equal to square root of 2 square minus x square c ok now we solve this questions root 3 by 2 x square 0 to 1 plus x by 2 square root of 2 square minus x square plus 2 sin inverse x by 2 from limit 1 to 2 we get square root of 3 by 2 plus 2 multiply pi by 2 minus square root of 3 by 2 minus 2 multiply pi by 6 we get 2 pi by 3 square units and it is your correct answer next question number 31 and last question of section c make a rough sketch of the region x comma y 0 less than equal to y less than equal to x square 0 less than equal to y less than equal to x 0 less than equal to x less than equal to 2 and find the area of the region using integration friends hame yaha pe kuch boundation give boundaries values given hai 0 to x square 0 to x 0 to 2 hame kya karna hai integration ka use karte hue iska area find out karna hai okay the points of intersection of the parabola y is equal to x square and the line y is equal to x are 0 comma 0 and 1 comma 1 here the solution y is equal to x square and this line is y is equal to this is the equation of parabola y is equal to x square this is the equation of line y is equal to x and this is the line of equation of line x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 0 y is equal to x and y is equal to 0 y is equal to x square and y is equal to 0. Friends, we in to bounded area find out karna hai by using the integration. Then we see that y is equal to x square, line y is equal to x, line x is equal to 2, line y is equal to 0, and line x is equal to 0. So, your required area is this. From 0 to 1, your required area is bounded by the parabola y is equal to x square. And from 1 to 2, your required area is bounded by the region y is equal to x and x is equal to 2. See here, required area 0 to 1 y parabola dx plus 1 to 2 y of line dx. 0 to 1 x square dx plus 1 to 2 x to x dx. When we solve this question, x square dx integration is x cube by 3 0 to 1 plus x square by 2 limit from 1 to 2 and when we solve this question we get final answer is 11 by 6 11 by 6 is the correct answer okay friends now your section c is completed and we get we enter in the section number d now section d question number 32 and section d is first question Solve the following linear programming problem LPP graphically maximize z is equal to x plus 2y and subject to constants x plus 2y is greater than or equal to 100, 2x minus y is less than or equal to 0, 2x plus y is less than or equal to 200 and x comma y is greater than or equal to 0. 
इट इज योर कॉल सब्जेक्ट टू कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इट इज योर नॉन नेगेटिव इंटीजर्स मैक्सिमम ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स प्लस वाई इट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन सब्जेक्ट टू कंस्टेंट एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज ग्रेटर टू हंड्रेड टू एक्स माइनस वाई इज लेस देन इक्वल टू जीरो टू एक्स प्लस वाई इज लेस देन इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वाई इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू जीरो बाई चेंजिंग गिवन इन इक्वेलिटीज इन टू इक्वेश वी गेट एक्स प्लस टू वाई इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड टू एक्स माइनस वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड and by equation of first x plus 2y is equal to 100 when we solve this question when x is equal to 0 x plus when x is equal to 0 and 2y is equal to 100 and y is equal to 100 by 2 it means 50 so your in the table x is equal to 0 pe y ki value kitni aa jayegi aapke paas mein 50 and when y is equal to 0 we get x is equal to 100 by this equation okay नेक्स्ट बाई इक्वेशन ऑफ टू एक्स माइनस वाई इजल टू जीरो वी गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स एंड इट इज योर लाइन पासिंग थ्रू ओरिजिन वी गेट दिस टेबल वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी बाई इक्वेशन टू एक्स प्लस वाई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड वी गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन वाई इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड वेन वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो Now we use these tables and equations to cover the area of graphically. Here is the bounded area of graphical lines. Friends, we given that line one that x plus two y is greater than equal to hundred. It means it is satisfy your zero comma zero conditions or not. So. it is not satisfied because 0 comma 0 is not greater than equal to 100 so it is unbounded solution and solution is from far away to origins 2x minus y less than equal to 0 when we solve that 0 comma 0 yes it is satisfy next 2x plus y less than equal to 200 yes it is also satisfy so here line 1 is not solved for 0 comma 0 so it is solution is far away from origin and line 2 and line 3 also satisfy the origin solutions satisfy to origin so it is completed bounded area is this the feasible region abcd determined by the linear inequalities or equation from 1 to 3 is so in the figure note that the feasible region is bounded the corner points of the feasible region are c of 50 comma 100 d of 20 comma 4 40 b of 0 comma 200 and a of 0 comma 50 so z is equal to 3x plus y and a is 0 comma 50 is equal to 50 when we solve that z is equal to 3x plus y a is 0 comma 50 and we get that d is equal to 50 when b is equal to 0 comma 200 we get z is equal to 3 of 0 plus 200 and your answer is 200 next c of 50 comma 100 z is equal to 3 of 50 comma 100 150 plus 100 is equal to 250 similarly d of 20 comma 40 it is answer is 100 and your answer correct answer is maximum at of z is equal to 250 at x is equal to 50 and y is equal to 100 it is final answer next question number 33 evaluate 0 to 2 e to the power x dx as the limit of the sum friends it is the questions come from limit of sum or application of integration types questions by definition a to b fx dx is equal to b of minus a upon n limit n tends to infinity f of a plus f of a plus h Plus f of a plus n minus one of h. Here, given that a is equal to zero, b is equal to two, and we know that n h is equal to b of minus a. Okay, friends. 
when we solve this question 2 minus 0 limit n tends to infinity 1 by n e to the power 0 plus e to the power 2 by n plus e to the power 4 by n plus and so on how see here 2 minus 0 limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n here a is equal to 0 so f of 0 plus f of 0 plus h and so on f of n minus 1 of h and we solved it 2 by n limit n tends to infinity f of 0 here fx is equal to e to the power x fx is equal to e to the power x so f of 0 means e to the power 0 plus f of h and so on f of n minus 1 of h and f of h means e to the power h 2 by n limit n tends to infinity 1 plus e to the power h plus e to the power 2 h and so on and we know that h is equal to here h is equal to b minus a upon n it means 2 minus 0 upon n is equal to 2 by n so e to the power h means e to the power 2 by n e to the power 2 h means e to the power 4 by n so your next step is 0 to 2 e to the power x dx is equal to 2 minus 0 limit n tends to infinity 1 by n e to the power 0 plus e to the power 2 by n plus e to the power 4 by n plus and so on e to the power 2 n minus 2 upon n using the sum to n terms of a gp where a is equal to 1 r is equal to e to the power 2 by n we have friends here given that e to the power 0 plus e to the power 2 by n plus e to the power 4 by n it is a n terms of the gp and uh, we know that the formula of the sum of the n terms of gp is equal to a of r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 here a is equal to 0 for this gp a is equal to 1 a means first term and first term is equal to 1 plus e to the power 2 by n plus e to the power 4 by n so when we solve for r e to the power 4 by n upon e to the power 2 by n e to the power 4 n minus 2 n is equal to e to the power 2 by n okay friends we get 0 to 2 e to the power x dx is equal to 2 limit n tends to infinity 1 by n e to the power 2 n minus 1 upon e to the power 2 n minus 1 friends n is cancelled out by n equals to 2 limit n tends to infinity 1 upon n e square minus 1 upon e to the power 2 n minus 1 when we solve these questions we get 2 of e square minus 1 upon limit n tends to infinity e of 2 n minus 1 upon 2 by n multiply by 2. यहाँ पे हमने क्या किया friends? जो ये वाला n था इसको अपन ने नीचे लेके आ गए और इसको मैं क्या लिख सकता हूँ? 1 upon 1 by n. And here 2 multiply or divide by each other and we get 2 by 2. Here using this terminology, limit s tends to zero. E of h minus 1 upon h is equal to 1. So we prove that your correct answer is e square minus 1. Okay. Next question number 34. Find the equation of the plane through the line x minus 1 upon 3, y minus 4 upon 2, z minus 4 upon minus 2 and the parallel to the line x plus 1 upon 2 is equal to 1 minus y upon 4 and z plus 2 upon 1. Hence, find the shortest distance between the lines. Friends, we have to find out the shortest distance between two lines. See that the two given lines are x minus 1 upon 3 is equal to y minus 4 upon 2 is equal to z minus 4 upon minus 2. It is called equation number 1. And x plus 1 upon 2 is equal to y minus 1 upon minus 4. Friends, see here. 1 minus y upon 4. When we common the value of minus y minus 1 upon 4 and we write this y minus 1 upon minus 4 okay equal to z plus 2 upon 1 it is called equation number second now let a comma b comma c be the direction ratio of the normal 
to the plane containing the line 1 and therefore equation of plane is a of x minus 1 plus b of y minus 4 plus c of z minus 4 multiply 0 it is called equation number 3 here equals to 0 and we get 3a plus 2b minus 2c is equal to 0 it is called equation number 4 required plan contains line of equation number 1 next 2a minus 4b plus 2 plus c is equal to 0 equation number 5 is come from line 1 line second line 2 is parallel to the required plan next they imply a upon 2 minus 8 is equal to b of minus 4 minus 3 is equal to c of minus 12 minus 4 friends we had that equation number 4 and equation number 5 equation number 4 is 3a plus 2b minus 2c is equal to 0 and equation number 5 is 2a minus 4b plus c is equal to 0 when 3a plus 2b minus 2c is equal to 0 and 2a minus 4b plus c is equal to 0 we solve this by cross multiplication methods and a is 2 multiply 1 minus 2 multiply minus of 4 and we see that a upon 2 minus 8 okay next b upon 2 multiply minus 2 minus of 3 multiply 1 and we get b of minus 4 minus 3 similarly for value of c we get minus 12 minus 4 and we get a upon 6 is equal to b upon 7 is equal to c upon 16 equals to lambda and we get putting a is equal to 6 lambda b is equal to 7 lambda and c is equal to 16 lambda in equation 3 and we get 6 lambda x minus 1 plus 7 lambda y minus 4 plus 6 lam 16 lambda z minus 4 is equal to 0 there implies 6 x plus 7 y plus 16 z minus 98 is equal to 0 how friends lambda is common from all parts and we get 6 x minus 6 7 y minus 28 16z minus 64 lambda is equal to 0 we solve this question then lambda is come from 0 and we get 6x plus 7y plus 16z minus add this minus 6 minus 28 minus 64 is equal to minus 98 is equal to 0 which is the required equation of the plane since line 2 is parallel to required plane okay next shorter distance between two lines is equal to perpendicular distance of the point one minus one comma one comma minus two from the plane and we know that formula of this is a x1 plus b y1 plus c z1 minus d upon square root of a square plus b square plus c square is modulus so here 6 of minus 1 plus 7 of 1 plus 16 of minus 2 minus 98 upon square root of 16 square plus 7 square plus 16 6 square plus 7 square plus 16 square when we solve this shorter distance is equal to 129 by square root of 341 units okay friends next question number 35 it is come from random variable let a pair of dice be throw and the random variable x be the sum of the numbers that appears on the two dice find the mean of expectation of x friends hame yahan pe mean find out karna hai aur expectation it means mu is equal to e of x and we know that the value of e x is equal to summation x multiply p of x here see that pair of dice ki baat kar raha hai friends yahan pe pair of dice means 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1
रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स इज द सम ऑफ द नंबर सम ऑफ द नंबर वन कोमा वन इज सम इज टू वन कोमा टू सम इज थ्री वन कोमा थ्री इज सम फोर सिमिलरली थ्री कोमा वन इज इक्वल टू फोर ओके नाउ सी दैट द सैंपल स्पेस ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट कंसिस्ट ऑफ थर्टी सिक्स एलिमेंट्री इवेंट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्डर्ड पेयर एक्स आई कोमा वाई आई वेर एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स एंड वाई आई इज इक्वल टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सिक्स वी गेट दैट द रैंडम वेरिएबल एक्स डेट इज द सम ऑफ द नंबर ऑन द टू डाइस टेक्स द वैल्यूज टू कोमा थ्री कोमा फोर कोमा फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन और ट्वेल्व फ्रेंड्स वन कोमा वन सम इज टू सिक्स कोमा सिक्स सम इज ट्वेल्व ओके नेक्स्ट नाउ प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू इज इक्वल टू प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ वन कोमा वन इट मीन्स ओनली देर इज वन सैंपल इज वन पॉइंट इज वन कोमा वन जिसका सम हमारे पास में टू पॉसिबल आना उसकी पॉसिबिलिटी कितनी हो गई वन बाई थर्टी सिक्स बिकॉज टोटल नंबर ऑफ आउटकम्स इज थर्टी सिक्स एंड टोटल नंबर ऑफ फेवरेबल आउटकम्स इज वन पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री इट मीन्स P of one comma two and two comma one, because in all the thirty six items there are only two items which is sum is three, one comma two and two comma one. One plus two is equal to three, two plus one is equal to three. So your required probability is two by thirty six. Next P of x is equal to four. We get P of one comma three, two comma two, three comma one is equal to three by thirty six. P of x is equal to five. One comma four, two comma three, three comma two, four comma one is equal to four by thirty six. P of x is equal to six. We get P of one comma five, two comma four, three comma three, four comma two, five comma one equal is equal to five by thirty six. P of x is equal to seven. One comma six, two comma five, three comma four, four comma three, five comma two, six comma one and required probability is six by thirty six. Next, for x is equal to eight. Here, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is is called random variable. P of two comma six, three comma five, four comma four, five comma three, comma six comma two. We get required probability is five by thirty six. Similarly, for x is equal to nine, we get four by thirty six. For x is equal to ten, we get three by thirty six. For x is equal to eleven, we get two by thirty six. For x is equal to twelve, we get only one outcome, that is one by thirty six. The probability distribution of x is so by table x. It means random variable, and it is required probability of particular random variable. When x is equal to is equal to two, we get probability of x is equal to one by thirty six. When x is equal to three, we get two by thirty-six. When x is equal to five, we get four by thirty-six. Similarly, for all the questions. Okay, friends. Next, therefore, mean of mean or expectation mu is equal to e of x is equal to summation i is equal to one to n x i multiply p of i. That is two multiply one by thirty-six. Three multiply two by thirty-six. Four multiply three by thirty-six. Five multiply four by thirty-six. Next, similarly, we solve. We get all the questions is this type two fifty-two upon thirty-six. It is equal to seven. It means the mean of the sum of the numbers that appear on throwing two fair dice is seven. So your correct answer is seven. Okay, friends. Here your section D is complete. Now we will be enter in the section E, and very important sections. Because here the question is case study based question, it means when first of all you read all the passages and after that given following questions. Case study, read the following passage and answer the questions given below. Let X denote the number of hours a person watches television during a randomly selected day. The probability that X can take the values X i has the following form. Where k is the sum unknown constants. Friends, again repeat. Let x denote the number of hours a person watches television during a randomly selected day. 
किसी पर्टिकुलर डे के ऊपर किसी पर्सन के नंबर ऑफ हावर्स की बात कर रहा है जब वो टीवी देखता है उसको हमने रैंडम वेरिएबल के थ्रू रिप्रेजेंट करते हैं द प्रोबेबिलिटी डेट एक्स कैन टेक द वैल्यूज एक्स आई हैज द फॉलोइंग फॉर्म पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू एक्स आई वेन एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो वी टेक द वैल्यू जीरो पॉइंट टू वेन एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू वन और टू वी गेट के ऑफ एक्स आई वेन एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू थ्री वी गेट के ऑफ फाइव माइनस एक्स आई एल्स वेयर अदरवाइज जीरो ओके वेन इन दिस टाइप क्वेश्चन वी सोल्व सब पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड वट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी डेट ए पर्सन वॉच इज टू आवर्स ऑफ टेलीविजन ऑन ए सेलेक्टेड डे वॉट इज द प्रोबेबिलिटी डेट द पर्सन वॉच इज एट लीस्ट टू आवर्स ऑफ टेलीविजन ऑन ए सेलेक्टेड डे फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बी फाउंड द वैल्यू ऑफ के सो हेयर एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव पी ऑफ एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू के टू के टू के जीरो कोमा जीरो हाउ सी हेयर वेन एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन एक्स वन मीन्स वन इट इज वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट टू इफ एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू वन और टू वी गेट के ऑफ एक्स आई इट मीन्स के ऑफ एक्स वन यानी कि के और के ऑफ एक्स टू यानी कि टू के और एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू थ्री वी गेट के फाइव माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू टू के बेट वैल्यू ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी ओके एक्स आई इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेन वैल्यू इज जीरो पॉइंट टू फोर रैंडम वेरेबल वन वैल्यू ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी इज इक्वल टू के फोर रैंडम वेरेबल टू प्रोबेबिलिटी वैल्यू इज टू के वेन रैंडम वेरेबल इज थ्री प्रोबेबिलिटी वैल्यू इज टू के फोर फोर प्रोबेबिलिटी इज जीरो एंड फाइव प्रोबेबिलिटी इज जीरो वी गेट सिंस समेशन ऑफ पी इज इक्वल टू वन वी नोट डेट ऑल द वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस समेशन ऑफ पी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन सो जीरो पॉइंट टू प्लस के प्लस टू के प्लस टू के प्लस जीरो प्लस जीरो इज इक्वल टू वन एंड वी गेट के इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू इज इक्वल टू टू ऑफ के वेन वैल्यू ऑफ के इज इक्वल टू फोर अपॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव टू फोर अपॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव इज इक्वल टू एट अपॉइंट ट्वेंटी फाइव नेक्स्ट पी ऑफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू इट मीन्स पी ऑफ एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू टू इज इक्वल टू x is equal to 2 plus x is equal to 3 plus x is equal to 4 plus p of x is equal to 5 put the value 2k plus 2k plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 4k plus 0 is equal to 4k and we get k is equal to 4 upon 25 so answer is 16 upon 25 नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी सेवन और केस स्टडी नंबर क्वेश्चन टू वेन वेन ऑब्जर्व ओवर ए लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम ए टाइम सीरीज डेटा कैन प्रिडिक्ट टेंड डेट कैन फोरकास्ट इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज और स्टंगशन ऑफ ए वेरिएबल अंडर कंसिडरेशन सच एनालिटिकल स्टडीज कैन बेनिफिट ए बिजनेस फॉर फोरकास्टिंग और प्रिडिक्शन ऑफ फ्यूचर एस्टिमेटेड सेल्स और प्रोडक्शन द टेबल बिलो सोज द वेलफेयर एक्सपेंस इन लाख रुपीज ऑफ स्टील इंडस्ट्रीज ड्यूरिंग टू थाउजेंड वन टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव फिट ए स्टेट लाइन ट्रेन बाय द मेथड ऑफ लिस्ट स्क्वायर एंड एस्टिमेट द ट्रेंड फॉर द ईयर टू थाउजेंड एट फ्रेंड्स हमें यहाँ गिवन है टू थाउजेंड वन टू टू थाउजेंड फाइव वेलफेयर एक्सपेंस टोटल नंबर ऑफ वेलफेयर एक्सपेंस इन लाख रुपीज वन सिक्सटी लाख वन एटी फाइव लाख टू हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी लाख थ्री हंड्रेड लैख एंड फाइव हंड्रेड टेन लैख ओके ईयर वाई इज इकल टू गिवन है आपको एक्स इज इकल टू गिवन है एक्स इज इकल टू ईयर माइनस टू थाउजेंड थ्री वी गेट एजूम सिमिलर कंसेप्ट ऑफ एजूम मीन वेन एक्स इज इज इकल टू ईयर माइनस टू थाउजेंड थ्री और वी विल सोल्व बाई दिस x इज इक्वल टू एक्स आई माइनस एक्स बार टू थाउजेंड वन माइनस टू थाउजेंड थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू 
2002 minus 2003 is equal to minus 1. 2003 minus 2003 is equal to 0. 2004 minus 2003 is equal to 1. 2005 minus 2003 is equal to 2. And x square is equal to here x and we solve for x square. We get minus 2 square is equal to 4. Minus 1 square is equal to 1. 0 square is equal to 0, 1 square is equal to 1 and 2 square is equal to 4 and the sum of summation x square is equal to 10. Next x y find out the value of x multiply y and we get 160 multiply by minus 2 we get minus cos 320. 185 multiply minus 1, we get minus 185. 220 multiply by 0, we get 0. 300 multiply 1, we get 300. And 510 multiply by 2, we get 1020. And sum of the xy, summation of xy is equal to 815. And summation of y is equal to 1375. Okay, friends, by the value of for uh, list square method, we get a is equal to summation y upon n, and summation y value is 1375, and n is equal to 5 is equal to 275, and the value of b is equal to summation xy upon x square is equal to 805 upon 10, we get 81.5 yc is equal to a plus bx it is 10 line and we we want to find out the value of 2008 so yc is equal to 275 plus 81.5 of x the estimated value for 2008 will be 275 plus 81.5 multiplied by 5 is equal to 620 682.5 friends because 2008, 2008 minus 2003, we get 5 and here x is 5 and we get final answer is 682.5. So, its estimated value at uh, in 2008, the trending line show that rupees 682 lakh. 82.5 lakh rupees next and final question of today's session question number 38 or case study number question third location of three houses of a society is represented by the points a of minus 1 comma 0 b of 1 comma 3 and c of 3 comma 2 as so figure a of minus 1 comma 0 b of 1 comma 3 and c is 3 comma 2 Required uh, questions is first of question equation of the line AB is second is equation of line BC and third one is area of the region ABCD. First friends, you have find out karna hai, equation of the line AB. Second question is equation of the line AC. And third question is required area of ABCD. ABCD. A, B, C, D. We calculate, we want to calculate the required area A, B, C, D. Okay, friends. First of line, first question is equation of line A, B. Equation of line A, B is Y minus Y1 is equal to Y2 minus Y1 upon X2 minus X1, X1 and X minus X1. We get Y minus 0 is equal to 3 minus 0 upon 1 plus 1 is equal to X plus 1. When we solve this question, we get y is equal to 3 by 2 of x plus 1. It is the required line of line, equation of the line AB. Next, equation of line BC is y minus 3 is equal to 2 minus 3 upon 3 minus 1 of x minus 1. Because we given that a of minus 1 comma 0 and b of 1 comma 3. When we find out the line of equation of the line AB is, we get 
y minus y1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and x minus x1 and we want we know that it is x1 it is y1 it is x2 and it is y2 put this value in this y minus 0 is equal to 3 minus 0 upon minus 1 minus 1 x minus of minus 1 we get y is equal to 3 upon minus 2 here is plus 1 plus 1 okay 3 upon minus 2 and x plus 1 so your required answer is y is equal to 3 by 2 x plus 1 Next equation of line BC is y minus CD. Similar concept use karna apko pe. 2 minus 3 upon 3 minus 1 x minus 1. Is it, uh, there imply y is equal to minus 1 upon 2 x plus 1 upon 2 plus 1 plus 3 is equal to minus ka 1 upon 2 x plus 7 by 2. Next is question is area of region ABCD equal to area of triangle ABE plus area of region BCDE. Here we use by the property of integration and solve minus 1 to 1, 3 by 2 x plus 1 dx plus 1 to 3 minus 1 upon 2 x plus 7 by 2 dx. Friends, we, we want to know the required area of the region ABCD, area of triangle ABE plus area of region BCD. We want to know the find out the area of this. First of all, we find out the value of ABE. Then we find out the area of E, B, C, D. So here minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to 1, the required solution is this and we get minus 1 to 1, 3 by 2 x plus 1 dx plus 1 to 3 minus 1 upon 2 x plus 7 by 2 dx and we get after solve this question 8 square units. It is your final answer. Okay friends. I hope so. Today's session is the very important according to your future CBSC boards exam. And all the best for your 12 CBSC board exams. Okay friends, thank you and best of luck for your future.